So, uh, coming to this mudslinging, I'm, I'm asking this question for a reason. Recently, people celebrated Periya's birth anniversary on 17th of September. Could you please pass your comments on that? See, I have nothing against the person called Periya. I have a lot of complaints against what is the ideology of Periya. The, if you see the way the concept of Periyar came in, he started with anti-Brahmin theology. Why? Because at that time there were political reasons for starting the social justice party or whatever. Brahmins were visible everywhere. Agreed. He had targeted a particular community and everybody was with him for targeting that community. We have nothing against people targeting our community. You have freedom to target. Yes. But when you say Rama is a villain, when you say Ganapati idol can be broken in the center of the road, mm. you publicly break Ganapati's idol. To an extent it went, like if you find a serpent and a Brahmin together, you can leave the serpent alone, but you have to hit the Brahmin. You have to cut the sacred thread of the Brahmins. You have to cut the shika of the Brahmin. That is how the, the atrocities were committed against Brahmins in the entire Tamil Nadu and around uh, related areas. So, if he was against God, Kadavulai number one muttal, that is people who worship God are idiots. People who promote God are barbarians. If that is the philosophy, he should have been having the same kind of an attitude. Did he break one cross in his lifetime? Christian cross. A cross which the Christians worship. Did he break it? Did he talk anything about the crescent? Nothing. If you are against God, you have to be against the same kind of mentality against all the religious uh, institutions. But you have selectively you have targeted Sri Rama. That Sri Rama who was sung by a Tamil saint, Tirupan Adwar. Tamil saint, 2700 years back. Which made my Lord Balaji enact an event which was happened 2700 years back. At Sri Rangam it happened, in Tamil Nadu, at the banks of Kaveri river. If that is the event which is not recognized by Periyar, where a Brahmin Archaga carries a Dalit on his shoulder, this event, why was it blackened out? I will go for, further again. This event every year used to be played in every major Sri Vaishnava temple. It comes under Guru Parampara. People were told that this happened to keep the people from discriminating, keep them from doing this kind of an oppression. And it was enacted in different types of dramas and plays. Vidhinataka Laga, Devalayallo, every temple used to have Harikatha collection. Stage plays. Stage plays used to be there. And Nandanar Charitram. Nandanar Charitram was being enacted Chidambaram Nandanar Charitram was being enacted in every village. You know what Periyar followers did? They hit them. Don't enact this Nandanar Charitram. They made them not do any play. So, that means they were against a glorification of the deity. This reform, how did it happen? 